watching the immersive experience and strategic thinking of SimWorld with now over 10 years of entertaining you here on SimWorld Game Vision. We are SimWorld, and we are your home for all things simulation. Coming to you now from the David Kent Roma Studio at the SimWorld Game Vision Broadcast Center in Topeka, Kansas. This is SimWorld Live, and here to entertain you is our games guru, Nathaniel Jackson. Hello there, Simmers. Welcome to the broadcast for this uh, Monday, the 26th of February, 2024. It's actually the last Monday of February, to be in fact. And I uh, hope you guys are having an awesome day today. And Frodo, as far as uh, missing you guys yesterday, uh, I kind of had kind of a bittersweet day. I did want to be with you guys and do a uh, civil cycling team. Uh, work and uh, kind of do some more races, but unfortunately, like I said, I had to cover some uh, time at the station. Um, kind of a quiet, dull day, honestly. Uh, just, you know, making sure the feeds were going in for CBS and all of that. And uh, I did find out last night in my mailbox at the station. Uh, you guys remember the Sky Eye truck that I took out to vault, uh, to uh, Las Vegas for the Super Bowl. I did find out it's uh, this week. The uh, truck is being picked up from uh, uh, two members of the uh, Waco station. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to be there to see it go. But I, I did kind of slip out to the garage when I saw that email. And, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't look anything like it used to be when I, I drove it out to Las Vegas. All the uh, the the warning of the the truck is gone. Um, nothing like it used to be, but it's bittersweet. But it's it's time. Um, you know, it's the day and age where technology changes. You know, we're more reliant on uh, those live view uh, backpacks that uh, can get the signal out. You don't need satellite dishes and um, microwave beam uh, vans anymore, even though we still have the microwave beam uh, van here at the studio. Uh, we just don't use it. We primarily just use it for parades. So, but anyway, um, like I said, it was a dull, uh, a dull day. Uh, today was a little bit more finessed of interesting. Uh, got some household work done. Uh, installed a brand new dryer vent. Um, I know that doesn't seem like fun, but I did. I did a, uh, a lot of uh, work on the, the leaves today as well. And um, I, 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 I kind of feel bad for the, uh, uh, the waste management team that has to pick up all the bags of uh, leaves that are going to be out on the trash on uh, Thursday. But, you know, it's just the way it is. But anyway, uh, so we got that going on for us. Um, I have looked at the models yesterday when I was talking to Daniel, our uh, weekend meteorologist, and uh, he does not really think um, we're going to have a tornado threat. It's going to be a large hail wind threat uh, for us tomorrow. In fact, today, would you believe it, uh, we broke a big record uh, set back in 1896. Um, our daytime temperature back then was set at 78 degrees. We broke it today at 84. I know, quite, quite impressive. But, um, there was a little bit of a chance that we might have some energy, uh, tonight and, uh, kind of watching it with, uh, Stormwatch Live True Max 3D, uh, right now. And, uh, doesn't really look all too impressive on Trimax uh, right now, but something I'm kind of watching. It could be nothing. It could be something uh, low energy as far as like uh, something in the potential of um, maybe something with a low level jet that kicks in, uh, which is something that happens usually about uh, sunset to about an hour after sunset. So we'll keep it on it. If anything, I'll, like I said, be watching it while we're doing all of our. Uh, work with uh, civil zoo otherwise you know like there'll be nothing tomorrow um the threat for us is between 2 p.m and 7 p.m um we're looking like I said at uh large hail damaging winds being the primary threat the more uh consistent threats are going to be up in the um more of the 
Midwest area, um, like areas of southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, uh, to as far as down to uh, the Little Rock area, that's where the more focused threat will be tomorrow. And the front that's actually doing this, this whole picture is uh, right now between uh, the Dakotas down to just near Billings, Montana, to Boise, Idaho, down through uh, Woodward Shores, uh, California. So that's where the, the big threat for severe weather will be for a lot of the eastern Midwest um, and Ohio, Tennessee River Valley tomorrow. Not much of a threat um, as far as, like I said, the tornado threat for us, high winds, large hail. So that's, like I said, watching. And you kind of see there is a little uh, wave of energy that is uh, in the Midwest, uh, primarily in the uh, high plains of the state of Kansas right now, just behind a dry line. That's why I'm kind of watching that, just to see if anything uh, might develop over the next, let's say, hour, or hour and a half. Um, just kind of keep an eye on it. Otherwise, nothing much more than that. Um, I will say that if you see me turn on the uh, lightning detection system, which is over my shoulder, um, while I'm watching TrueMax on the teleprompter later, uh, then you'll know something might be kind of brewing that's uh, worth watching. But honestly, I don't think it's like major like that cold front. The cold front that's got a lot of snow up in Billings to Boise right now, that's the more powerful event that we'll be uh, definitely watching. But for right now, um, I'm just going to focus on what's going on here in the state of Kansas. If anything, um, it'll stay north of Topeka. If anything, at best, maybe it won't have anything to have an impact in the next hour, two hour and a half. But there is something that's there uh, that is falling between uh, Wilson and Collier up to uh, near Smith Center uh, that's having an impact. So, again, something that's uh, definitely keeping an eye on. And... Um, Honestly, like I said, maybe nothing, maybe something, but we'll be uh, keeping an eye on it, and uh, I'll uh, do that. But anyway, sliding over here to the broadcast program agenda, and let me switch uh, TrueMix to the teleprompter. Okay. All right. So, um, as far as what we're doing tonight on the air, we are uh, kind of picking up what we did uh, earlier this week, which was working on um, assigning our zoo staff. We did a lot of uh, zoo district management, and that's what we're going to work on today. Uh, we did some district management, uh, setting up uh, the alligator, the beaver, and the camel districts. That way, uh, our staff doesn't have to work all that much for a whole zoo. They only have a certain little a number of exhibits or habitats that they have to work at. And uh, it just makes things a little bit more easier. So we're going to be assigning to zoo staff that uh, those specific uh, districts when we get started. And uh, we'll monitor the progress throughout the night, see how things go. Also, I decided um, I don't think I set up the quarantine and vet hospital access for all the vets. Uh, that are going to be assigned to certain areas. So I'm going to uh, make sure that's done and uh, as needed, yeah, assign everybody. Um, and as far as individuals, the main Zoom. So we'll be doing that um, just as well. So we got a lot of that being done tonight. Uh, and of course, we're also planning out and building our habitats for the Eurasian lynx. And the European Badger. So, um, would you believe it if I told you that is the last of our zoo plans that we have right now? So, we're going to maybe, if we have time, uh, start focusing on um, our plans for our habitats for episodes 28 and on. Uh, because right now, this is it. This was the last on the list that we had that we made uh, last year, back in around, um, I would say, around the November time period. So, um, this has gotten us quite a while, you know, all these different projects. So, we'll just kind of 
have to see how it is and shape it out like that. So, all right, let's go ahead and get things going. I'll meet you guys on over there. Make sure everything's dialed in over here for our chat, the weather. And uh, that we'll be doing okay with. Um, the good news is that we did have a fire weather watch that was in progress uh, that did expire like 13 minutes ago. So that was good news. Uh, there is a still fire weather watch down south in Wichita, Emporia, Springfield area, but nothing that I'm overly too concerned about. Okay. So, let's get into our work of the Zoom. Yeah, we last worked on this on uh, Tuesday at the end of the broadcast week last uh, week. And don't forget, we'll have um, the good doctor again tomorrow. So, we'll be starting on early at um, 3 p.m. Eastern. So we got a big monsoon going on right now. Not a fun thing to do and be working it, but we'll do the best we can. Um, Pazoski horses are hungry. Everybody else, the Laura Gibbons, I think everything's fine. Uh, the only reason they're attracting protesters, even though there's not really protesters unlocked, would be because the uh, space in those is, it's not small, but it's not large. It's, it's fine. It's just, there's a lot of species in it. Uh, we did request a keeper to go over there, so that'll be fine. We'll have to keep it on now. We already know about the, the ticket price thing. Um, they're being kicked out because they don't have a name. Um... Let's do the zoo thing first, all the zoo management. Um, as far as what's going on with our zoo, like I said, our, our ticket prices are what like Chicago or San Diego would charge with some of their big zoos. Um, marketing would be something I would look at, even though we do have marketing campaigns. Fallen, it's not four, and it's not five, but it's been pretty steady. So I'm wondering what we did three years ago that we can work on. Conservation, we're doing great with getting the message out. Um, I'll look when we get into finances here in just a, a moment 
to see if we want to improve our, mar our marketing again. Three to four. We'll read. We'll read the uh, things here in just a second. So all time we've had sixty-eight thousand six hundred forty-four guests. Uh, currently we got five thousand three hundred one. Most people are spending is on uh, the ATM withdrawal. Followed by food, then drinks, and then from there to donations, which are, you know, incredible. By the way, don't forget that we got our subscriber goal going up. Um, even though I wasn't on the air yesterday, I'm, I was uh, not shocked, but uh, disappointed I didn't see anything while I was off the air. Uh, and then, of course, the next after that is like gifts like hats and such. Um, as far as the remarks from people, a lot of being, the zoo is great, but then they also are complaining that there's just not enough drink options, which is up here. Um, as far as it being stuck, I don't know relatively what they're talking about there. As far as crime, we haven't had any, knock on wood, but worth watching. As far as our finances, uh, like I said, we're doing sandbox, so we don't really look at the money. But in a general sense, um, I would say just kind of get an idea of things. I just don't. I think we're spinning. Let me see how, how things are. Let me take all these off and then we'll look uh, over the last five years. So we don't have any loans. I know that. Donation wise, um, we occasionally get donations, but we're just not getting enough to warrant. We don't have to worry about profit. I mean, are we here for profit? Or are we here to, you know, educate and uh, entertain? As far as our facilities and such, we're doing okay. Um... I mean, we're not zero and we're not in the negative, so... As far as the animal transfers, when we have to uh, deal with overpopulated animals or uh, aging animals, we've been okay. Um, at least the last couple of years, we kind of dipped down hard and then we kind of got back and then we dipped in and then we kind of actually made just a bit of profit on some animal transfer costs. As far as our tickets, um, we've been doing okay. I mean, we've been making $20,000. Pretty good. Cash flow, you know, makes your head hurt when you look at all that. As far as our animal food costs, not overly too bad. You have to remember that we have to pay a lot for grade three. And electricity and water is free. As 
First wages. Um, I don't know why it went up. At the end. And that's something I'll have to uh, keep an eye on. Of course, every time we build a habitat, our construction costs always tank us down. We don't have to worry about loans because, like I said, we're in sandbox. Um. We're still doing television commercials. Like on, um, I would say, to kind of give kind of a reference, I would say we're doing something like, oh, like Disney or ABC or something like that. Of course, we're also doing um, online. I would say if it was me, and I wanted to change up our, uh, I'd take off our television spots. And I'd start doing it on like, um, Stay online, you know, focus for online mobile devices rather than uh, the traditional TV. And we know pretty much everybody doesn't read newspapers anymore. Newspapers are uh, on the way out big time. As far as our animals, um, as far as management, for them all. We don't have... We got one taper that could... be released. Um... But we don't have any uh, aging animals right now. We just got a lot of animals. Um, period. In fact, Terry and Steve are the uh, oldest that we got in our zoo at the moment. So. And we've had them since year one almost. As far as habitats, um, the color precarious would be the only habitat that needs some work, but I'm not going to do anything with requesting anybody until we do the zoo staff management here in uh, just a minute or two. And everybody here should be grade three. Nope, the otter wasn't. So you can kind of see the 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 prices. I don't know if we can go up on top and see who's the most expensive. Um. The Caymans are the most expensive, coming in at $7,920 a year. Um, all because there's 41. I can't believe that there's that many. It's insane. Huh. But anyway, um, staff. <clears throat> I 
I'm going to um, put a last name to that one. I think everybody is doing good. We don't have any new staff, except there are... Yeah, there are two new guards that we did hire last episode. And that will take time. Shonda was fired because um, the one that we wanted for the uh, equator grill came back to work. So, and that was uh, Columbus. As far as our staff room, um, I don't know. Learning resources? What, what would you guys do? We have social club. Staff healthcare and learning resources. Staff healthcare on a big one. Someone's in there right now. Um. I'll do this in just a second. Who's going where? So we'll, we'll, we'll come back in just a second look at that. I'm thinking it shouldn't be that hard to assign all the staff. We're not doing any research. This is the one that I need to look at though. Okay, so as far as usage, the grill's being used very well. This ATM needs to uh, have a second one, maybe. I don't know. The water counter. It's interesting that people like want, are going for the water. Too bad that we didn't have a vending machine for water. For a pip shot. Because I know that would uh have done well. Vending machines are not getting that much uh, use. But then they are. I 
guess I did have a pip, pip shop machine. So it is working. There is one there. Even right here, yeah. Toilets have been occupied. So. Uh, let's see all the staff are doing there. Pretty much everyone's using everything. So, no problem to that effect. Um, water treatments need to be adjusted or addressed. But that's going to be done when we have our staff uh, changes here in just a minute. Most uh, educated animals, the law given. Audio guides are still being used, which I'm glad to see that happening. Um, Wow. The Lar Gibbon is getting the most attention. Followed by the Black Wildebeest, the Black Bear, the Wombat, and then the Mandrel. It's funny, the raccoon is even getting attention in the top 25. Who's getting no attention? The sloth. The only thing I could do about the sloth is, like I said, until we get the um, birdhouse. And I know that Frontier's got their hands full of getting ready for that console edition that's uh, coming out. Um, I think it's coming out this week. On Wednesday, when I'm on uh, my weekend. So, there's the staff doing all their various talks and all of such. I don't know why... Um, Oh, I see what they're doing. As far as the talks, um, hold on, let me write a note on this. I need to assign let's see adjust the um, the koalas and the silverback gorilla. We don't have any transport, so we don't have to worry about that. I would like to figure out something, but that becomes a challenge. 
Um. I can't remember who on this that we have done or who we haven't done. Um, I think we got all these when we were on together last uh, two episodes ago. I should go around all these. Label them. have tattoo oh I didn't set that up did I my bad yeah my bad There's a couple others here. Um, I must have done something for the gorillas that they're not in there or the things weren't reactivated. <laughs> Here's another one. Yeah, something must have happened to all the gorilla ones. That they've been uh, dis disconnected from the store, from the, um, the grid. Here's a couple more. All right, let's see. The taper, the bear cat. Oh, the otters.
When you have like so many habitats and animals, it's hard to keep track of everything. You got uh, three others. Let's see what these are, Lar. So you're related to this one. Um, capybaras. The capybaras didn't get turned on. Darn it. See what I'm saying is, I just, I just, yeah, I got a lot going on. And I was getting the stuff ready. I just never engaged it after they moved in, which I should have done. Okay, we got another set of animals here. Let's see where this goes. Follow bears. Speaking of um, pop-up talks, I probably has to go in with it as well. As far as the, uh, silverbacks, um, I'm trying to remember where their habitat is. this one. Let's see. Silverbacks would have been um, here. There's a pop-up talk for them. There we go. In fact, it's coming up uh, less than a, less than a uh, couple of weeks. So, yeah. Okay, I think we got all the habitat stuff connected again. Just gonna quickly thumb through it all. Oh, um, TV screen stuff. Um,
Spewing down. You are in a habitat. I just don't know whose habitat. I want to say, uh... Wait. Is that the, um, the, um, Capuchins? No, this is, this isn't Capuchins. This would be the, uh, I think this is the Colombian white-faced monkeys. I don't know if it's monkeys. I'd have to look up the the legal term for it, the legal word. But I think that's where that habitat that dome is. Same thing. Yeah. See, there's a staff area there. And uh, it's not the it's not the um, one across the way. The, this is the white faced. So seventy five is the Colombian as well. I think it's the Capuchins. Because the lemurs are on the other side. Like the the red tail. Or the ring tailed and the, the red lemurs. Yeah, these are the Capuchins. Let me... Um, let me copy that in case I find that other one. Uh, not in a habitat, 76. Is that the same spot? Yeah. See him? That's the Capuchins. This is a different one. Oh, this is the, um, okay, that's fine. It tells you where it is. That's all that matters. All right. Um, what a dreary day, huh? I would hate to be a zoo guest right now. All right, let's go before we kind of let the kind of, you know, let the clock run for a bit. Let's go back to our staff. And let's go through. We got the um, alligator, a uh, beaver, and a camel districts. So what I'm going to do with that is...
I'm going to pick two of each and say, Bradley, I want you to work alligator. I want you to work beaver, camel, so on and so forth. Um, until we have two of everybody. Let's see, eight. I need a, a I need a get another. Let's get a staff down here. I need another vet. Cause I like to have three, you know what I'm saying? So let's do another veterinarian. And... Three, 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 yep. And you're brand new, so you'll figure out the uh, lay of the land eventually. Okay, on the keepers. Okay, someone's, let's see what we have done here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I'll have you float to main zoo. That way you kind of are, you're, you're helping everybody out. Um, educators. Um. I don't know how I want to do the educators because Part of me wants to keep them for a full zoo, or you know, main zoo. Is the uh, work zone officially? Um, well, part of me. Let me think. Three times not. No. Twelve doesn't go into three. Actually, yeah, I can. Four times three is twelve. So, maybe I can. Maybe I can have everybody to... But what if I did two more educators that are main zoo? Is 
If you guys have made so, yeah. So you guys float. Uh, let's see. Two mechanics per zone. That would work. Guards, same thing, two per zone. And remember, I'll shift them around. I'll shift everybody around over time. Okay, 19. Let's see, how many can we do with that? 19 divided by 3. I could do 6. Okay. I don't want to fire anybody if I don't have to. Um, as far as vendors, since they kind of go, they've been assigned to like certain areas or, you know, certain shop, you know, to certain shops. Um, what I'll do with them is just do main zoo because they already have their assignments. So I'll do something like that. I don't think we need to hire anybody else or change anybody else. Um, staff room. We already looked at the uniforms we looked at. The uh, one thing I don't know of, if I go back over to my notes from the uh, Chiron, um, hmm? Oh, thanks for Proto. Let me, uh, let me quickly look at uh, True Max real quick. Um, yeah, I'm watching a Thunderstorm Cell startup near Wilson Lake. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Worth watching, though. As far as any uh, advisories or watches, I doubt we'll have anything. Like I said, it could be just something or it may not be something. Because um, the low-level jet would have just started kicking in. Oh, uh, about a half hour ago. So. Anyway. Um. Let me look. At. The 
districts as far as like I want to make sure everyone's got access to quarantine all through quarantine uh, this quarantine for hospice and this quarantine for animal sickness and whatnot but then I want all the vets have access to the vet surgery right here too so I'm going to kind of leave it like that check the work zones out one more time So, Alligator has that quarantine, this quarantine, as well as vet surgery. As far as the Beaver District, um... That quarantine, or, you know, technically for hospice, and That's gotta be the quarantine. Here, let me see which one's our quarantine, which one isn't. Okay, quarantine is this one. Um. So I want everybody to have animal trade, which is the end. Okay. So that big one there, this one here. And I need the um trade center. No, not the trade center. Vet surgery, where is that at? Okay, it's this one in between. Um, I did have like research, but no one's really using research, honestly. Okay, that's research. All right, so go through our work zones again. Alligator District has the whole building and all that. Okay. As far as the Beaver District, all this, Okay, so that's the Beaver District. The Camel District, it's all that.
I did give uh, Beaver the hospice, right? I think I did. Okay, yeah. And as far as the main zoo, that should be pretty much like a, like we said before. That's everybody. Okay. All right. So, zoo's opening. Let's um get the thing running, and we'll see how staff kind of. Start treating the thing. And Henrietta just left, so we won't have her till later. Yeah, we'll wait till the rain ends before we do any work. We all the beasts making a ruckus. Rain's ending. News today. We want to get your attention in reminding you that we have a special pop-up educational chat about the end. Good. Hey, everyone's doing a good job. Well, you know what? Johnny, um, I don't know what district you're assigned to. You're to work alligators. So, you now work in that general direction. So, if you're tired, there is a staff room right on the other side of this. And I will be upset if you go there. I want you guys to rest. You guys work too hard. Because look, you're not even resting that much. Rest, buddy. Rest. Do it for me. Okay? I'm 
Okay, I didn't want to see that. At least the uh, staff are on it. That's good. Yeah, if they're already in here and you're not supposed to be in here, that's fine. Just finish and clean up and move on there. Assigned district. But everyone's doing good. Folks are just tired, honestly. Alright, the Wombats. No one in their burrow, so they're out somewhere. There they are. Probably gonna go to sleep downstairs, aren't you? No? Yeah, you're thinking about it. Uh-oh, someone's broken down. Let's see what we have. Well, remember, we had, like, several different, um... What was I doing with you? Are you in the hospice? No, you're in quarantine. Um, you were brought in here for something, Tristel. Hold on. Oh, you're of age. Um, I don't know. Ooh, that's a first. <laughs> I, I missed where I put my arm. Um, I wonder if I can't rehome him. I can't release him in the wild, but I can trade him out. That doesn't seem like a, something I would want to do. Um... Let's go ahead and move him over to uh, hospice. So, someone of Alligator District, could you handle that for me? Or whoever's nearby? Since everybody has access to both. Oh. Yeah, the mechanics will get to it. There's two to the uh, area. So. Someone will get to it. That's in the area. Anybody using the, uh, or checking out the sloths yet? Keepers checking in on them. Hey, there is a guest coming to check in on them.
Right again. You sloths are lucky because you don't have to be out in that rain. There should be any rain at all inside here. I would love to know all of your guys' thoughts on the, um... <laughs> it should be that bad. You'll get there. What, uh, district are you in? Camel? Uh, Campbell, you are not in the area. You're kind of away from where you want to be. But you'll make it where you need to be. you from over there. Yelene. Here comes the Quokas. These quokas are interesting. Huh. Where am I at right now? Am I still around or have I left? Oh. We're having a little food, huh? Well. How you doing, Nathaniel? Let's see. <laughs> nice weather for ducks, but terrible for the rest of us. Too much time walking. Yeah, I'm sorry. You've been here since uh, six years, okay. Ooh, you got a deluxe half pound burger. Mmm. Well, stay in here. Stay dry, bud. See you around. Um...
Not too sure. I'm just saying what what's happening. Oh darn it. Come on, light. Don't do that to me. Hold on. Let me get that reset. What's going on with Trumax here? There's a new cell developing near Manhattan. Uh, why don't you switch modes on that radar? There's a couple of strikes of lightning on it. Let's turn that off. Okay. Keep an eye on it. Overall, not too shabby. All right. Um. Let's think about what we're going to do as far as the Badger and the Lynx. The Lynx is like a cat. So... Let's see. Least of Concern... Weighs up to 55 pounds to 100. Um, threatened in the past due to overhunting for the fur. However, it has been marked illegal for hunting in most countries except for Russia. So that's pretty good news that, you know, they're trying to keep those issues at bay. Commonly United Kingdom animal. Let's go ahead and start writing up the uh, markup for this. Let me go over to... Um, Evernote, set up a uh, habitat checklist. Yeah, see, this is our um, planet guy that we made back on episode 23 in November. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's kind of a a rough thing. So yeah, after after today's episodes, um, we really don't have we really don't have anything planned. So maybe later on, you know, weather pending because I'm watching, like I said that. Uh, wave of energy that's in the uh, Flint Hills. Uh, 
Let's start playing out the next five, maybe seven episodes. And I'll, I'll look at your feedback uh, that you might provide in the chat. And Frodo, if you can think of anything, like, if we want to, remember back in Eastern France, I don't think this was before you came here, uh, we had the Cat Boulevard. And if I do the Cat Boulevard, that would be actually something we could do for the um, the links. But the question is, if I did the Cat Boulevard, it's hard to tell. Where, um, where exactly I would do it? We're running out of space over here. But we do have let me see where the property line is. Okay, so the property line is right here. Right here at the bottom of the screen, like we're next to the UI bar. Um, yeah, we could start tying a uh, Cat Boulevard again. I don't want to do a third entrance just yet. Um, what is the Cat Boulevard you're asking? Uh, the Cat Boulevard is, we have like the lions here. Let me, sh let me show you them all. Uh, we'll have like the Jaguars again. Uh, we'll have. There's a bunch of line. There's a bunch of cat animals, you know, like the sand cat. Well, not the sand cat, but like the Siberian tiger. Um, there is a variety of them that we could add. Where else do we have? The Cougar. Um, the Cheetah. The Bengal Tiger. I don't see. Do we not have a lion anymore? West African. I was way down here. So. Yeah, we got we got like five or six we could do on a cat boulevard. Kind of like what we did with the animals and man trend. Um last year I think it was when we did that. If that's not something you guys want, I mean you can suggest there's I mean you're kind of seeing all the list of all the animals we have. Um, you 
you could say, do you have X, Y, Z already? And I'll say, maybe, maybe not. And um, outside of this list, there is one on a, I think the Sybil, not Sybil Zoo, the, uh, um, the Planet Zoo website. Where it has a list of all the animals. So if you like want to know, I have all the packs. So if you want to, if you want to like start asking from this list, I'll drop this on the chat. Um, if you could say, have you put in here this? I I could look at it and I could say that might be a good i a good addition to the zoo. Um, or maybe not. So, I mean, there is, just looking at the list here, where I can see, like, the pictures and all that, um, let's see the Caracal. That would be one I would use as a cat boulevard one, even though it's not technically a cat. The leopard would be one we would add. But if there's something that you you see here that would be like, you know, that that might work, or maybe it won't work, or how about this? So. Go through the list, and I'll tell you if I can add it based on the nature of things. See, one thing that stands out, in fact, right here is one I, I would like to add. Um, the pandas. Native to Japanese uh, cultures. Um, so what I could do up back here in Evernote is I'll take this off now that we kind of enter, you know, we're at the end of the, uh, let's do like. System Bookish list. Like, uh, what was that? It was the pandas. The giant panda. Like, that's one we can add. And I'll, I'll, like, start making episode notes as far as where it goes to, and, um, uh, things into that reference. There is, uh, Like I said, the Cat Boulevard uh, theme. And that would be like... The Bengal Tiger is one I would add. I could do...
California sea lion. I'm trying to see where that would fit. The cheetah. I know that would be one it would add. Um, clouded leopard. I don't know if, like I said, I know the uh, console edition is coming out. Um, let me see. Did it say on that website thing that we were going over? Console. Oh, it's not released until next month. I thought it was releasing this month. So, I guess they got another month. They're still working on it. I thought it was this month. I'm sorry, guys. I prematurely uh, led to believe that it was this week. I'm sorry. We want the cougar. I know that. I think we'll add the links to it today. I think we'll start it with the links. And then of course we'll still do it to Badger. I don't know what a fuss is. Let me see what the faucet is. So it's kind of like a cat. Hmm. I don't know much about him. So that's based on the, um, Hey, the Atlanta Zoo. Shout out for all of your information. This is really nice, very informative. So it's kind of like a tree cat.
They have a panda cam. Aww. I will draw, I'll, I'll drop this in the chat. I'm walking away. If you guys want to leave me, go ahead. Don't you just, yeah. Um, Frodo, what was that for? I'm, I'm on camera. Yeah, I'll just leave that with you. Up, oh, he's up, up, up. Yeah, we've been over there. All right. Um. Hmm. Try to think if I want to do the fossa. Um, sure, why not? Let me add that to the, uh, Cat Boulevard option. So right now we got five habitats. More to be looked at here. You know what we could do? A bear thief. Let me write that in. We already have the Formosan black bear. And the Formosan black bear is in the uh, camel district. The only thing is, doing the Formosan black bear. And I'll, well, yeah, we could do it. We could do how many black, how many bears do we have? On the list. Grizzly and him land. They could be next to each other. We could put the pandas with it too. In fact, let me change the uh, list here. Jaguar, did we get that in the list?
We got to do something with reindeer someday. I have not worked with reindeer. I think the next habitat or the next zoo. Um, I'm thinking, is that Iceland or Greenland that I want to do it? Um, we'll look at the. Let me look at Google Maps here. Our next zoo. Um, there's not that many people on the Greenland, is there? <laughs> but we could have our next zoo in Greenland. I don't know if we can. I'll have to look here in a minute. Well, I want to do a reindeer. I so much want to do a reindeer. I want to start doing animals we haven't done. We already got the sand cat. The Siberian tiger. That's the one that we want to add. The snow leopard. Um, as far as doing a snow leopard, um, as you know, we'll have to have cold temperatures, snow for them. Um, that that can happen. It also will be a challenge. What I'll do, I'll write it in. But I'll put a question mark to it. The Sun Bear. That's one we can add to the uh, bear theme. The West African lion. What is the Y scent? I don't see it. I don't have my thing up. Um. Oh, it's kind of like a uh, a bison. Okay. Um. Seeing that in our list now, let's do episode 20, where are we on, 8 or not, 7? We're on 27, so this would be episode 28. 
And let's do a combination. Episode 30. And a Sun Bear on episode 30. And as far as the Cat Boulevard theme, so, okay, we got 28, 29, 30. As far as starting at the capital of our theme, I would do episode 31. And really focus on taking time to build it. Because we didn't give a lot of effort. As much as, as 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 much as I remember when we did a Eastern France uh, Cat Boulevard location, so we'll just kind of have to, uh, you know, keep an eye on it and all that. Episode thirty-three. stretch our time on taking care of these animals set these up and I don't mind doing one at, at a time that way we can stretch our content out until we start the eastern uh, or our Greenland location and plus during all this entire time you know, it's gonna sit, it's gonna take us a couple months. Hopefully, maybe we'll have an answer for Frontier as far as hey, a birdhouse is coming or a bird pack or something of that sort. You know. Because that would be a big, big yes for something we would get into. But like I said, they're working on the console edition stuff right now, so it's gonna take some time. So, there's kind of like the, the next uh, 11 episodes that we'll do together. And, um, yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, now. We've already worked on Brown Throated Sloth, so we don't really need to do anything with that one. Um, is there anything here I need to work on? No. So, as far as... Our template... Let's go ahead and start the Eurasian links, and that will be part of the uh, Cat Boulevard. Alright, now, based on the information from the game.
Oh, I'm just looking at radar here. So far, so good. Might be okay for the night, but again, it's an iffy thing. Um, Eurasian links. Okay. Um, How much a day? How many day produce at a time? One to four. 